When you go to Layout and Arrange your connected shapes in Visio, you generally head over to the Design tab and you look at the Connectors drop-down and the Relayout page drop-down that has various pre-configured families of settings for changing the look and layout style of your diagram. There's also three dialogues that you can go to to have finer control over the way your layout looks and get some possibilities that aren't presented to you in the ribbon. And let's go quickly look at all three of those. The first one you'll find under more layout options at the bottom of the relayout, relayout page drop down. Let's just open that up and you can see we've got some settings for placement which is where the actual shapes are placed and a couple of drop downs for connector settings. You can also click this dialog box launcher right here in the layout group and that brings up the page setup dialog with the layout and routing tab selected and again you'll see we've got kind of a layout style here and there's some preview on the right that sh gives us an idea what it's going to look like and we've got some line jump settings and a few other obscure settings. The last place to go is back to that page layout dialog but notice the spacing dot 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 button here if we click on that this gives us fine control over the spacing between shapes the spacing between connectors and some general patterns about the, di the diagram that helps Visio make decisions about how it's going to lay out the shapes. So how do these how do these affect how the diagram looks? Well this diagram's pushing the limit of the page size so say we wanted to change the spacing between shapes. Right now when I click flowchart layout whether top to bottom or bottom to top this is Visio is has this default s spacing between shapes what we can do is actually go to this configure layout dialog and we can bump down the spacing a little bit hit apply you can see Visio's putting the, the diagram a little bit closer together similarly if we wanted to use up the whole paper and have lots of as much space as possible between our ch shapes we could bump up the spacing as well. So that's 0.6 inches between each one. Let's hit OK. And that affects the auto connect as well. So now when I when I add new shapes, they'll be at this spacing. They'll be they'll be offset by the spacing that we just set in that dialog. If you want finer control over the spacing, you can go back to the page setup dialog, click the spacing, and you can change the horizontal and vertical spacing independently. Now there is this is interesting if you're doing org charts, the connector to shape spacing, and the org charts tend to have the connectors close to the 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 employee shapes and further from the superior shapes. So this would be the offset of the bend from the from the uh, connector but it might work for flowchart too we could try it so here here we've got a, a small gap here let's see if we make this 0.25 and 0.25 let's see what happens hit apply you can see sure enough that gap jumped a little bit so we could make it really big and I'll just do both horizontal and vertical so I don't have to worry about it and hit apply again and that evidently was over Visio's threshold it was just too big because it's uh, almost as much as the spacing between shapes, so nothing happened there. So you can adjust it a little bit, but Visio's layout algorithm is going to say, hey, you know, I can only do so much. I can only respect your settings to a certain degree before I won't be able to actually lay out the pages. So I encourage you to experiment with them and realize that sometimes things aren't going to change very much. So let's look at a few other settings. In this diagram, you can see that we've got connectors kind of running out of each other, and we're pretty sure what what what's connected to what in this diagram. But some people might say, well, I don't know. You know this is a little bit ambiguous here, these connectors all running together. Or maybe you have a, a, a drawing standard that doesn't really allow for connectors to be on top of each other. So go to the Page Setup dialog, and notice the Separate drop-down here. And what we can do is say, we want to separate all lines and watch what happens when I hit apply to these right here. So Visio says, okay, they don't want connectors on top of each other at all. So I'm going to 
separate them. So this makes this drawing a little bit clearer. It's a, I think it looks a little bit more messy, but depending on the diagram you're creating, this might be appropriate. The overlap setting, I'm having trouble getting to work in Visio 2010, but in the past, the point of the overlap setting, as far as I know, was to be able to 